What's up, YouTube? Lord Xander here. Uh, before I watch the new X-Men 97 series, I'm going to look at the uh, OG X-Men 97 series, which, of course, ran from 1992. Uh, 1992, that's the, a long time ago. I was a kid back then. To 96, five seasons. All right, so start rewatching episode one. I skipped around a bit, so I watched all the other episodes, as you can see. So pretty cool stuff. Apocalypse, and we have Days of Future Past. I love Bishop. And of course, uh, Gyrick and Master Mold. And also for a refresher, I went back and I watched... Uh, the last season so you know this was like kind of my favorite one here Captain America and Wolverine fighting Nazis pretty cool stuff and then of course uh, Professor Xavier not exactly dying but being taken to the Shi'ar Empire because he got attacked by uh, Henry Peter Gyrick and they weren't able to use any Earth-based technology to heal Professor X from the attack, so he's gone. Of course, Origin Mr. Sinister, not a great episode, but, you know, interesting here. And then uh, Fifth Horseman, that was pretty good. And then uh, Storm hanging out with the Archon here. And the Phalanx. So we have Warlock from the mutant, New Mutants. So... I love this series. Um, not a perfect series, but a great series nonetheless. Uh, pay homage to the uh, comic books. Of course, it's a kids' show, so it was less, you know, brutal and violent, especially Wolverine and him kind of cussing and stuff. It's probably pretty funny. Um, of course, Morph. Um, you know, saved air quote by Mister Sinister. Oh, the Shadow King. Yeah, good stuff here. Good stuff. Of course, uh, Mystique. And uh, Mojo. Good stuff here. So, I'm definitely going to rewatch this whole series. But, like I said, point of reference, I'm rewatching Night of Sandal. Of course, the series is different back then because uh, in the OG X-Men comic book, you have, of course, uh, Iceman, Beast, Marvel Girl, a.k.a. Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Angel. So the five with Professor X. And this team is different because you have Jubilee in there. Um, but, you know, hey, update times for updated show back in 1992. But anyways, uh, so as soon as I finish watching the first, I guess I'll watch four or five episodes, um, I'll watch the new series and give you my opinion on it. So again, if you saw the new series and you like it and you think it's the best, you think it's better than this one, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I have my doubts about uh, Disney and of course Magneto is the main villain of this series. Of course, you do have introductions of Apocalypse and Mr. Sinister uh, in the mix. And of course, uh, you know, the uh, Henry Guy Guyrick and you know, Sentinels and all that, but a good series. I think it captures the uh, essence of the comic book really well, considering it was a kid's show made by Fox back in the day, uh, before Fox got bought out by Disney. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Again, you know, I think this uh, OG series holds up pretty well by uh, fans' standard. A uh, longtime comic book X-Men fan. And, of course, this was one of my favorite shows when I was much younger. Um, and, you know, we'll see. I have high expectations. I've heard mixed reviews from uh, comments on other videos that it's you know 
the new show is woke and I won't like it. Uh, or it's better than the old show and, you know, we'll see. And uh, just a reminder, you are allowed to like crappy shows. Like, I like the uh, Resident Evil movies, Mila Jovovich, and the uh, live-action G.I. Joe movies. Now, I know they suck. I know they're not cinematic masterpieces. I know fans have a big problem with them. Um, but, you know, you're allowed to like crap if you wish. So, not going to stop people from liking the new X-Men show if it, you know, if it, you know, modern audiences, audiences or whatever. Uh, that's not going to work for me. But anyways, uh, I'll get to watching it soon enough. So leave a comment and let me know if you watched the uh, OG series and your thoughts. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.